Good morning dear brothers and sisters, today we will see the book of 1 Samuel chapters 23 and 24. 1 Samuel chapter 23, David's Rescue of Keilah. In this chapter, David continues to evade Saul's pursuit by seeking refuge in the wilderness. During this time, he receives word that the Philistines are attacking the city of Keilah, stealing their threshing floors, a vital source of food. David, despite his own troubles, inquires of the Lord if he should go and save Kila from the Philistines. David's men are concerned about going to Kila, fearing that Saul will seize the opportunity to capture David in the walled city. Nevertheless, David trusts in the Lord's guidance and goes to the city, defeating the Philistines and rescuing the people of Kila. Saul soon learns of David's presence in Kila and prepares to besiege the city. David, Aware of Saul's intentions, seeks the Lord's guidance once more. He learns that the people of Keilah, despite his heroics, are willing to betray him to Saul. David and his men decide to leave the city and hide in the wilderness of Ziph. Meanwhile, Jonathan, Saul's son and David's dear friend, visits David in the wilderness, strengthening his faith and reminding him of God's faithfulness. The chapter closes with David eluding Saul's grasp once more. 1 Samuel chapter 24, David spares Saul's life. This chapter tells a remarkable story of David's character and trust in God. While hiding in the caves of En Gedi, David and his men find themselves in the same cave where Saul enters to relieve himself, unaware of David's presence. David's men encourage him to seize the opportunity and kill Saul, believing it is God's providence. However, David refuses to harm the Lord's anointed king. Instead, he secretly cuts off a piece of Saul's robe as evidence that he had the chance to kill him but chose not to. When Saul leaves the cave, David reveals himself and, from a distance, shows Saul the piece of his robe as proof of his innocence. David eloquently expresses his loyalty to Saul, asserting that he will not harm the king. Saul acknowledges David's righteousness and blesses him, realizing that David will one day be king. David, after this encounter, remains in the wilderness, while Saul returns to his pursuits. This chapter showcases David's unwavering faith in God's timing and his commitment to righteousness, even in the face of extreme adversity. These chapters remind us of the importance of seeking God's guidance in our decisions, even in the midst of our own trials. They highlight the value of integrity and the power of forgiveness, as David spares Saul's life, trusting that God will fulfill his promises in his way and time. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we delve into the accounts of David's life in 1 Samuel chapters 23 and 24, we are reminded of the challenges and decisions that shape our own journeys. Like David, we often find ourselves in the midst of difficulties, seeking your guidance and wisdom. Lord, we pray for the discernment to recognize the opportunities to make a difference in the lives of others, even when we are facing our own struggles. Grant us the courage to act as David did when he went to rescue the people of Keilah. May we be people of compassion who extend our helping hand when needed. In times of uncertainty, help us to trust in your guidance and timing, just as David sought your counsel repeatedly. Teach us to wait patiently on you even when it seems that our enemies are closing in. Strengthen our faith to know that you are in control, working all things for our good. Father, like David's men who urged him to seize the chance to harm Saul, we too face moments of temptation and pressure. Grant us the strength to choose righteousness and mercy over vengeance and harm. Help us to reflect your character in our actions and decisions. We also pray for the wisdom to recognize the Jonathans in our lives, those who encourage our faith and remind us of your faithfulness. May we be a source of encouragement to others on their spiritual journeys. Lord, when we encounter those who may not understand our path or who seek to harm us, help us to respond with grace and love, just as David did with Saul. May our actions speak of our trust in you and our commitment to walk in your ways. In the name of Jesus, we offer this prayer, seeking to live lives that honor you and trusting in your providence. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, 
We will continue with the next chapter in the next video. Thank you. God bless you.